As parents of high school seniors who have either if they're in the middle of the application process or coming to the end of it, first advice I offer to parents is please breathe. The opportunity to just slow down for a bit and remember to enjoy yourselves. For all of you, it's a stressful process. For your son or for your daughter, they're applying to schools, they're talking to their friends. Some kids have gotten better scores or some of their friends have finished applications and maybe your son and daughter haven't or they're not looking at school and in terms of the context of what they're doing. Instead, they're worried about what their friends are doing. Breathing really helps to just have everyone slow down. Um, I'm always a fan of meals. I think that the family should sit together and just have the conversation about college, about the application during dinner or during lunch, because that's how humans cover most everything. We all sit down and enjoy ourselves around something warm and delicious or something cold and yummy. Um, the transition process also for all of you is going to be something that you probably haven't gone through before. You know, someone's leaving home but for longer than a summer camp. And to take care of yourselves as parents is also important as well. Remembering that you're going to miss Jimmy or Susie, you're going to miss having them in the house. Maybe try to do special activities with them that are something different. Uh, my son and I always would try to do, go to a diner, which has become our um, staple activity. But sometimes on a Saturday night, 10 o'clock or even at midnight, we would sneak out of the house and, and go get some diner food. But it gave us a chance to catch up. We were outside the house, and even though it was late, the conversations were always humorous, and they allowed us to be able to connect, knowing that he was going away to school. In other ways that during senior years, you're looking at your child make these transitions, and you make them the transition, is to also celebrate with everybody else in terms of grandparents, brothers and sisters. Make sure as many people are as part of the process as possible, because when your child goes away, he or she will also be in contact with all of them. And conversations can start at a higher level because maybe you have shared brochures and you shared websites so that these family members can see where these places are or what the interests might be. And when they talk to your son or daughter, that first conversation, they'll be knowledgeable so that your son or daughter doesn't have to start from the beginning and say, no, Grandma, I know we're in Vermont, but there are no cows on campus or something along those lines. So it's really important to bring everybody in the family, not just immediate, but also extended family, into the conversation. And lastly, for parents, if I can offer any piece of advice that's nothing bigger, it's empty nesting. If this is your last child leaving home, enjoy it. It's fun to have that free time to yourselves. You'll be able to travel to campus to visit them, as well as also enjoy each other and enjoy your life, move on to another um, different activities, move on to another phase of what you're doing. But this should be a year to celebrate your child's successes and the anticipation of leaving, but also celebrate yourselves in terms of moving into another uh, portion and phase of your life.